Hey YouTube viewers and subscribers, this is Gautam Raj from GRV Web. Now I'm going to show you a short review on CM12. And I also want to sh share some differences between CM12 and CM11. Uh, CM11S I mean. Okay, here you can see a new kind of screen over here. And they also said they inbuilt the ambient display. I mean ambient sensor which is going to take the information when you lift the phone up uh, it will automatically detect i think this time it haven't worked but okay it's working fine i have tested a few many times and i also found few many bugs on this device as well i mean the cm12 official i mean stable release okay let's get into apps there is nothing new here just like lollipop 90 bills okay if I get into notification drawer they have changed few things here and you could find signers and logo over there uh, this this thing this uh, brightness controller is now in a style of signers and mode and as well as you can also find the text in this is color blue then few of the icons has been changed as well now it's night one o'clock I'm just recording this video okay guys uh, okay let me get into the settings uh, they have uh, now they made a clear setting menu I mean what I mean because uh, you can see the performance is now outside the phone and if you go into phone you can see the signals in 12 and Android version 5.0.4 as well uh, you can tap it on and Okay, you can play this Android bird, uh, sequel of Fluffy Bird. Okay, and and now I also found that it is not Sinus and More, it is Sinus and OS. Here you can see Sinus and 12.0 if you tap it on, and now you can play Sinus and oh, uh, what should we name this? Fluffy Bird, Android Bird, and Sinus and Bird. Okay, Sinus and Man. Okay, that's fine. I think so okay uh, okay let me get out from here uh, I think there is a new feature that is users this one like uh, now you can use guest account if you have a guest to your home and you can give your phone to him and let him use uh, give him a new account called guest uh, like Windows do the same okay let me switch to the guest I found few issues here when I'm switching to guest I'm getting some kind of error this time it's fine okay let's continue okay the theme is now uh, like stack Android uh, nothing new here uh, if you are using 90 bills same it looks okay let me change to the owner view Okay, owner. Okay, it's changing to on preview. I also found a bug when I'm moving for the first time to guest. It 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 just uh, I don't know what had happened. It just stopped everything and it restarted once again. And I also found uh, some bugs with uh, some kind of apps. I'll let you know. I'll write in detail in the description. Oops, I found some error here. Oops. It's not working what happened to my phone okay no issue let's change to guest and uh, let's complete this review as well and this is the bug what I'm talking about I found lots of bugs even man okay let's continue okay I think this will work yeah this is working fine okay now they have included some additional features in the camera as well yes okay if you go into settings you can find a new feature called save raw image this is really important and very useful for the photographers as well and you can find <coughs> yeah these 4k dci and uhd features 
and you can even adjust the codec of the video as well okay uh, okay and they also said that uh, now you can use a USB playback I don't know what they mean uh, they said they have included multi-user but it still have lots of bugs I found that and and I just want to show you a smart lock feature uh, which is really nice which is uh, from Android itself let me show you this is the bunch of icons here I can lock them at once by creating a pattern this three continue confirm so I have an option can I lock all these features I mean all these apps this is really very useful feature so so like if I click on this okay it will lock all my apps here and that's fine and these locks cannot be accessible from anywhere I mean truly from anywhere this is really awesome feature from the signs and mode sorry from Android itself so and uh, if you want to remove that lock you just need to tap on this and you need to use this pattern and you just need to unlock this one and come back okay now it's working and you can find all that so oh, mine when I unlock it should be display all my apps yeah, it's displaying it's fucking fine I mean I mean when I lock this it should lock all my apps no I could still be able to access this one man in the 90 builds if I uh, lock this one nothing will be displayed here like Gmail I cannot access Gmail from anywhere of the mobile I mean really anywhere I cannot access it from anywhere if I lock it here and that's it you can't even open from here or even from any point of the app so but now here I can even access from this menu as well okay let's leave it okay okay let's switch let's try to switch uh, to users owner uh, okay let's move back oh, man yeah it's loaded this time okay uh, that's fine and notification drawer I already talked about this one uh, now I found a new feature called buttons uh, yeah in this already you already saw in the previous versions enable navigation buttons this time new style and if you turn it over and you can find them on over here you can change it to this side and there are a few more features over here I'm getting sleepy guys but okay okay what more I need to there are some more updates on this OS like uh, new screen log yeah we have already saw that and they have improved the compatibility of uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well and, and I think they have added a few more features like h264 and h263 uh, sorry sorry h264 itself and you can use tap to wake up as well and and if they included h265 that will be great for this device because it is really important update so thank you guys thank you for watching my video subscribe my channel thank you for watching